My name is Will. Welcome to Lightroom Basics, where we get shit done in under two minutes. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add, subtract, and intersect masks in Lightroom Classic. Now, you can do this in Lightroom CC as well. I'm just demonstrating in Lightroom Classic. The first thing you need to do is open your mask. So you can do this by clicking this button here or pressing Shift W on the keyboard. Once your masks are open, select Create New Mask and choose from the selection. In this case, we're going to select Subject and create that mask. Now you'll notice, and this happens a lot because AI isn't perfect, but this added a lot more than just our subject. How do we remove that? Simply select the mask that we created, press subtract and go to the brush. Now you have two options here. You can have auto mask checked or unchecked. It depends on how specific you want. For speed purposes, we're gonna uncheck it and we're just going to delete this mask here. And there we have it, we have made our selection. Now let's say you wanted to add a piece. Let's say you created the mask and it didn't create the basket, but you want to include the basket in the subject. Simply go to add, select the option that fits, let's say brush, and we're just gonna paint this over our basket. And this is simply going to add to our masks. Now you'll notice mask seven is the select subject with a minus brush and a plus brush. Now my favorite and most useful part of masking is the intersect. This states that when two masks cross over, where they cross over is what is going to be applied. Let me give you an example. Let's create a linear gradient here. We're gonna drag our linear over our subject's head. You'll notice that it covers this entire area, but we only want it to apply to her hair. So we're gonna push and hold Alt or Option, and you'll notice Intersect appears where Subtract and Add were. If you don't see that, you can simply go to the three dots, Go to intersect mask and choose the mask you want to intersect. In this case, we're going to select select subject. You'll notice that now this only affects the part of her hair. You have the linear gradient here, you have the subject, and then you have the overall mask, which is the intersection where those two masks cross. There is an infinite possibility with the masks. So get creative, get playful. And if you're tired of scrounging around the internet looking for videos like this, I have an entire Lightroom Master of Editing course that teaches you everything you need to know about editing in Lightroom. I'll link it in the description. Go check it out.